starting in 5 seconds Mr Deputy Speaker Sir I am very happy that the honorable member has brought this bill before this honorable house last time in the year 1999 when the same kind of bill was brought here though i was present at that time i could not participate in the debate when the honorable law minister intervened while appreciating the spirit of the bill said that it is not possible for him to support this bill on the ground that if we include this in the fundamental rights in article 19 then it cannot be enforced at all he added that we must make a law which is enforceable and there is no use in passing all sorts of laws which are not in a position to implement that was his line of argument and i think that was the correct line i also appreciate the spirit of this bill we know that this is a gigantic problem in this country it is most unfortunate that 50 years after independence we are not in a position to provide jobs to our young people this is the reason why in many states youngsters are attracted to tourism it is not their fault it is our fault because we are not providing jobs to them we are not providing any assistance to them at least to live that is why these youths are misguided by some people because of economic pressures they are being attracted to these things and they are joining such movements it is very fundamental issue when we are thinking of terrorism or any other problem it is also a law and order problem ultimately an economic problem is also a law and order problem when people are not satisfied when people do not get food clothing and shelter naturally they will think of other methods of making money that is why crimes are going up in the very capital city of delhi we find every day that crimes like robbery the kathi murder and other crimes are going up so it is very essential for us for the government how best we tackle this problem there are so many methods i am very happy to say that our government have taken several steps in this regard when we go through the report several steps of the rural reconstruction ministry we see that many steps have been taken it is not a problem for the cities alone because about 70 to 80% of the people live in rural areas if you tackle the rural employment problem i think you will be able to solve ultimately the problem in the cities also why there is overcrowding in the cities it is because the people are getting any jobs in the villages they are coming 
to the cities in search of jobs that is why there is so much of congestion housing problem and all sorts of things in the cities this is a fundamental issue if we improve the condition of the poor people in the rural areas then we will be tackling the problem in the cities also i am happy to say that our government the previous government started to tackle the problem in the rural sector by the new economic program announced by the honorable prime minister we have taken this problem very seriously particularly in respect of land reform sir that is the greatest problem facing the rural areas some people are owning thousands of acres of course after the land reforms the number of acres is reduced but still there are certain problems now some people in order to avoid this act distribute land in the name of some people but actually they are cultivating the entire land as benami this is called benami so that problem is also there that is why i urge upon honorable law minister his predecessor also could not do anything while appreciating the spirit of the bill because it involves rupees 200 crores the burden may be more than rupees 200 crores it may be a few thousand crores of rupees with this amount of rupees 200 crores you will not be able to provide employment to all the people this amount will not be sufficient the land reforms must be taken up very seriously if you tackle this problem i think you will be able to solve the problem of unemployment to some extent the poorer people who are the agricultural laborers the harijans and backward people who are the laborers of the landlords should be given the land about 4 or 5 acres each after giving this land if you provide water electricity and other inputs then i think they will be able not only to cultivate that land but also raise their income sufficiently in that way we will be solving this problem apart from that after the land reforms when they get 4 or 5 acres of land these poor people can also promote dairy farms poultry farms and grow all sorts of vegetables also stop